hi sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya sin and thank you all so much for all the love and support so today we'll be talking something very important and it's about a video that is making round tiktok and a lot of people are condemning it and calling them out and it's about what nfl did by telling all their players to take a knee for israel and i am asking why is it israel and why are they all looking for a way to drag black people into what is going on in israel and i made a research and i found out that uh, 70 percent of nfl players are black right so why are they dragging black people into this and then it was why making this research that i found out that the jews have so much power and like you know that um NFL is also being run by Jews and all that. And uh, I remember that uh, about seven years ago, somebody also took a new over, over police brutality and uh, what is going on in black community and they almost canceled that person. But today, Israel are the ones coming in genocide and they were forced to take a new for Israel and I am asking why Israel when there are so many genocide going on all over the world Palestine uh, Congo Sudan and all that why Israel why is it that the Jewish are looking for a way to drag black people into something that they know nothing about let's get into this so the NFL is encouraging their players to take a knee as a sign of respect towards Israel before every single game now Remember in 2016 when Colin Kaepernick took a knee during the national anthem to raise awareness about the police brutality in the United States and the entire industry blackballed him and ruined his career? And now they're turning around and saying, yeah, take a knee, support Israel, respect them. How can the NFL make such a big deal, national news, when a man stands up against police brutality in his country, but then encourage players to show respect towards an oppressive state that has bombed half of a city and killed over 15,000 Palestinians who they've been oppressing for 75 years. I don't understand it. I think this is a disgrace. I think this is horrible. Why is the NFL doing this? They should be taking a knee and encouraging their players to show respect towards the 15,000 Palestinians murdered by Israel. The NFL is a joke. That's all for this video. Free Palestine. So the NFL is encouraging their players to take a knee as a sign of respect towards Israel. Yeah, I don't even know where to start with this one. You know? Because off the rip, fuck these Zionists. Period. But here we have a black man trying to stand up for black people being murdered innocently by racist police that, by the way, were trained by the IDF. And now y'all encouraging people to take a knee in support of a racist apartheid state? Man, this country ain't shit. These politicians ain't shit. There ain't no motherfucking way I stand up on my tippy toes before I take a fucking knee for Israel. These people was out of their mind. I mean, might as well replace the flag of the United States with the Israel flag now. Just might as well just do it and put a little United States flag over in the corner of that one or something like that. Because like they said, at this point, that United States flag is just up for decorations. All loyalty lies with Israel, period. We send them billions. They turn around and bribe our politicians with the money we send them. They got access to all our weapons, all our secrets. They, they run this country. This country is a Zionist front. It does not exist. We can't get politicians to agree if the sun is out at 12 noon. We can't get them both to agree on that, but we can both get them to agree that the money need to go to Israel and condemn Hamas and then say, hey, man, fuck these people. Man, we don't fuck with y'all. And, and fuck the NFL, too. Period.
Poor Israel, respect them. How can the NFL make such a big deal national? This is literally only just to answer the question. It is um, Kanye West proved, and a lot of people are starting to prove too, that the entertainment is ran by Jews, right? A lot of people don't know this, but the NFL is just like the WWE, which is why people are starting to say that it's rigged because it says sports entertainment. So the whole purpose of it is to be just like the WWE, some type of entertainment, meaning that it's more for the media, not more for like the sports. With that being said, I'm pretty sure that they're allowing this to happen only because it's most likely ran by Jewish people. So Sundays in our house means football, which I hate, but my husband loves. Sitting in front of games right now, he probably is. So the NFL I hear this evening is encouraging players to have a moment of silence and take a knee for Israel. Starting tonight, take a knee. Take a knee. Take a knee. Now, where have I heard that before? They're going to take a knee for Israel? A knee? You mean like take a knee? Like Kaepernick? Take a knee? Take a knee. Tonight for Israel. The NFL is suggesting that we have a moment of silence and take a knee. You know, like we tried to do a decade ago for social injustice in black Americans. Take a knee? Like that kind of knee? The NFL starting tonight is going to have players take a knee for Israel. Not Palestine and Israel, just Israel. Take a knee. You can kneel now, guys. So taking a knee in a moment of silence for Israel at every game starting tonight, a night in which the death toll in Gaza has surpassed 1,500, with over 500 being children, and Human Rights Watch has confirmed that Israel has used chemical weapons on the civilian population in Palestine, refused the erasure of Palestine humanity. Now is the time for athletes and people of influence to stand. But no, they're going to take a knee tonight for Israel. A knee like this, like Kaepernick, take a knee. And like this, take a knee. And like this, mind you, this man is still not playing football because he took a knee for black people seven years ago. Colin Kaepernick took a knee for social injustice in black Americans and has not played football with the NFL since 2016 when he created a firestorm when he kneeled for the national anthem to protest what he believed are racial injustices in the United States. He took a knee and he got fired and blackballed. You know, I, I just, um, I, this doesn't surprise me. It's performative, but why am I not shocked? Because I thought Jay-Z said we were done kneeling. D didn't Jay-Z say that? When he took over the entertainment wing of the NFL, we done kneeling, but we not done kneeling for certain people. Yeah. Okay. So one last time, friends, let's revisit the original intent, the original sentiment that I said. NFL Sunday is today and later this evening, I believe at the Chiefs game, Taylor's probably going to be there. Ooh. <laughs> The NFL is encouraging a moment of silence and for players to kneel for Israel tonight at the Chiefs game. The NFL wants players to kneel like Kaepernick did seven years ago. The NFL has now allowed players to be able to take a knee for Israel. Now, I know Colin Kaepernick is yelling to a wall right now just a wall this has jerry jones written all over it i i can't stand that man but that's a whole other different story how are you gonna blackball someone from the nfl four years so much so that even this year he sent a letter to the jets to be like i will fill in for aaron Rodgers. i would love to even attempt to be on the practice squad to be a quarterback on the jets and they said no but that knee, though, we want it. Like, how are you going to hate Colin Kaepernick and then take the semicolon? That's when a colon takes a knee. Okay. Because taking a knee is such our thing to a point where players were getting fined, not being able to play games, told that if they were to continue doing it, they wouldn't play anymore, and Colin Kaepernick got blackballed, and yet and still, you're like, I will, I will take it. I will take the knee now. No. No, 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 no. This feels weird. I don't like it. Use a different... If you want to protest, if you want to whatever, pick a different form of protest. Easy. 
It would be like if male bosses hopped into the, the whole Me Too hashtag. It just doesn't make sense. So the NFL is encouraging their players to take a knee as a sign of respect towards Israel. Stairs and Colin Kaepernick. What the actual fuck? All I know is T-Swizzle's boyfriend better stand up and hold up a Palestinian fucking flag. Or I'll never support him again. And also... Any of the motherfucking F NFL players take a knee for Israel, I'm gonna wish that you break your knee on your next football game. The NFL has decided to allow players to take a knee for Israel. Yep. We're all familiar with Colin Kaepernick doing this during the George Floyd protests. He was swiftly blackballed from the league. The first time I heard the term take a knee was when I played college rugby. You would take a knee when someone was injured on the field, and it was a way of showing reverence and respect to them. So they could either get up and play again, or had to be removed from the field. We would stay in that position until one of those two things occurred. When I saw him doing this during the national anthem, I thought this is kind of a show of respect to a country that's down bad right now. And the media decided, of course, to vilify him and make it this form of protest, which I don't think that it really was at the time. Of course, it became a form of protest. Allowing adult men to do things is strange especially something as small as that. Now allowing people in your mostly black league to take a knee for another nation, but not allow them to do it for themselves. Also changing what that term taking a knee even means, no? Because when we do it as black people for causes that are our own, we're protesting. When we do it for Israel, it's an act of respect for them. Hmm. Yeah, that's also not how things work. You can just change the meaning of them whenever you feel like it. It's an immediate boycott on the play for me. Um, I was already boycotting the NFL, so it's no skin off my back. I don't want to watch people concuss themselves so they can go home and abuse their wives and families. The NFL allowing them to still play after they've done so. There's a handful of drunk drivers that are still playing on the field every week. I'm sure there are many other crimes. I was never paying attention to the NFL. They absolutely need to be boycotted now because this is an absolutely disgusting move. We will tell you how to use your protest powers. We will tell you who to lift your voice for. We will decide for you. Black men, who we make millions of dollars off every year. I'm going to be interested to see who actually does this and who doesn't because now it's a financial thing, right? Are you going to lose your endorsements if you don't? You're going to lose your endorsements if you do, that's for sure. You're going to lose public support if you do, that's for sure. Also, black man, if you take the knee now, oh, I'm sorry, you're in a bad enough position. Well, no, you're not. You work with the NFL, so that's your decision too. To be honest, I don't respect you. I'm sure you don't care. Again, for a body of white men who take advantage of black and brown bodies on a daily basis for their own financial gain, suddenly decide to allow them to protest something or support something, you still don't know which one it is. It meant something different before than it does now, I guess. It's like anti-Semitism meant something else uh, to the United States government last week. Now it means a different thing. So fuck the NFL. Over and over again, and quite honestly, NFL is one of the biggest exhibitions of like sort of odd white supremacy, feudalism, gladiatorship combined in one place. I hope we've not been watching them anyway. Yeah, these also these major league sports, they can go, they can leave. I'm not interested. There's more exciting games going on in Senate and Congress. They're playing around with our lives. So yeah, just wanted you to know about that. The NFL has decided to allow players to take a knee for Israel. Yep. Oh! Oh my god! Okay, but we really need to talk about the co-opting of, like, revolutionary symbols, songs, things. I know you know what I'm talking about. To enable this, like, that's fucking frightening to me. It's really frightening that oppressors continue to figure out the language of the oppressed and ways that it's worked and use it to further oppress. Like, that's fucking insane to me. Jesus Christ. What do you need to take a knee for? What do you need to take a knee for? Fuck! The NFL is encouraging their players to take a knee as a sign of respect towards Israel. I'm sorry. Fucking what? <sighs> This is your reminder that corporations don't actually give two buying shitty rat's asses about your fucking cause. The only time that they care is when they think that they can switch up for a monetary game. 
point blank period. Don't expect these future generations to carry out the need for your forms of entertainment. Football is over fucking rated any goddamn way. Personally, I'm sick and tired of watching a bunch of fucking grown ass men run around in the equivalent of goddamn tights wrestling over a fucking pigskin making more money than our teachers and our nurses do. I said what the fuck I said. This is also your reminder that domestic violence cases rise 40% during NFL season. In case you needed another reason. I am beyond confused. So, and this is a lot to unpack. So, the NFL is starting to do a take a knee for Israel, which is like, number one, Israel. <laughs> Why for Israel? Why is this not for Palestine, number one? Number two, did y'all not give Colin Kaepernick like the utmost freaking hell for taking a knee? for black Americans. So why wasn't it okay to involve politics, politics, um, in football back then, but now it is, and you're not even doing it for Palestine, you're doing it for Israel. This doesn't make any, is this making sense to you guys? Is encouraging their players to take a knee as a sign of respect towards Israel. The NFL encouraging players to take a knee after they just blackballed a brother behind the same thing for trying to stand up for our rights is a spat in the face, which is assault. We as carbonated people have to start making these people stand on their actions, stop allowing them to throw stuff in our face the way they are doing. It is insulting. It is to all the brothers in the NBA and NFL, man, y'all find a way to come together, man solidarity and um figure out how you can make that money they give you useful besides buying chains and cars i know they're gonna fight you over it and not allow you guys to do anything to help the community for real but do what you gotta do don't buy anything nfl maybe don't even watch a game let me add more to that situation the only reason why they're doing that is because of this the money they want to protect their bag and their business Deep down inside, they really don't want to do it because of all the situation. You see, business is like a publicity stunt. Once they see the popularity of what's going on, especially on social media, on television, and they see people are protesting against the Palestinians, I mean, excuse me, the Israelites for fighting against the Palestinians. What do you think? They already saw what happened to Starbucks and they saw what happened to McDonald's and many other people that's boycotting. Okay, they even seen that people are refusing to buy electronics anymore because of what happened in Congo. Okay, because those people still haven't been free. A man had to turn around and burn himself to death to just get out of bondage. Okay, and that's sad. Then meanwhile, they see what's happening in Haiti when they steal the people from natural resources and now they looking dirt poor. So the NFL, they ain't as, as, um, they're not as stupid as you think they are. These are the same company when those two African-American men were showing proof that they were being prejudiced. You know what they did? They brought Mary J. Blige. They brought all the black R&Bs, rappers, entertainers, including Eminem. And when Eminem decided to, um, to do, take the one knee in honor of the football player and many other people that's gone through oppression. I mean, Kevin Line, that's his name, Kevin Nick, Kevin Nick, um, he pretty much took the one knee, even though they told him not to do it, he did it anyway. That was just to show like, we are for y'all. We are not, you know what? This is all about America. You're part of us. It's to make sure that you guys are not going to harm their business. Cause they know that the NFL is where the billions of dollars, the revenue, the stacks, the endorsement. The only thing is, if we were really a collective, when those two African-American men who were coaches and they saw the unfairness and the justice how they were doing towards them, bypassing them from not being promoted and all that stuff, we should have never participated in it. We should have made sure to show them because for, for years the NFL has been prejudiced. And also, wasn't the CEO of the NFL, he has this allegation now that allegedly about his, what you call it. So they're just trying to make sure that all the shareholders and everybody got their bonus and they get their money and everything. So 
Because let me tell you something, when the black and brown come into a collective, and when we march and we protest, that's, that's when they start to see the unity in us. So they turn around and say, hell, we're not going get to these, get these people get all uh, with us. So we're just going to be as peaceful as we can. All right? But more and over, if we try to use that same strategy, because they owe one particular person an apology, and her name is Janet Jackson. Now, Janet Jackson and even Kavanaugh, uh, Kavanaugh, they owe apology to both of them because Kavanaugh, they made him exit left of his career. And they executed and eliminated and terminated his contract. All because he was standing up for a cause. And to tell you the truth, he, he did not deserve the benefits that he, was, that he was doing, especially as being an NFL player and a person who was representing of being an African-American male. Okay, because he said there's so much things that's going on in this country that discriminates our own people, which is the people of his skin color. So he said, why should I turn around and swear an oath to somebody when my ancestors were pretty much was being executed? It took them almost decades and almost close to 1900, on the, almost the end of the 1800s to give us Emancipation Proclamation and even consider us to be citizens. And then we had to take another decade, almost close to another century, for us to have the right to vote and to be recognized. Now, when you look at the situation, how they try they end our anti uh, permanent, um, per, permanent action, and they're trying to discriminate us, that's more leverage towards the injustice of being a black and brown person, a native in this country. Then moving right along, back to Janet Jackson. Y'all should apologize to her because you knew that it was a wardrobe and there was also a slip with somebody's hand that tried to cause her to be underneath the bus. And all till now, I see the Grammy Awards don't give her no honoree and she deserve it. And then not only that, I don't even see you guys from the NFL apologize because you knew that was a wardrobe and she did not do that intentionally. And to this day, you guys trying to ride her coattail. But no matter what, she's still standing. And she's still getting her active votes and she's still getting her awards. Regardless if you guys had apologized. At least the beauty pageant people, them, and when, when it was Vanessa Williams, it took them 40 years to apologize. At least they apologized. So why you guys can't do that? And even do it to Kovenik. Okay? Because Kovenik didn't do anything wrong. He was just standing up for a cause. And he should have. Okay? But it's so funny how you guys are using the same scenario what he did but at least what he did he did it to stand up for the rights and an integrity and the justice for all people including his people which is considered black and brown okay so what is your cause nfl to say that okay we're for y'all but we're not really for you we just for your money okay because we know that you guys are not true to the game because i know you guys are riding with the israelites okay and not really riding with the palestinians but you see that um, this thing with the NFL is big money. So you got to look the opposite way. You see, money has a way of making people become humble. But you know what? God should make y'all humble. Not no money. God should make you humble. All right? So when you take the knee, make sure you also take in the knee not only for Palestine, for Congo, for Haiti, for Jamaica, for all colonized countries, and also for black and brown. And you also take in the knee for the social injustice and how the way you guys treated Mr. Kovenick and also to Miss Jackson, if you, if you, if you know Miss Jackson, okay? And I mean Janet Jackson. So there's something that you guys need to take in perspective. You still have time to make the public announcement and apologize to those two people. So this is all I got from this video. And uh, according to one of, what one of those uh, what she said that everything going like I keep asking why is it that the Jews have so much power in I didn't know but I keep asking is why do they have so much power and he said that also like everything is almost being run by the Jews and all that but man the whole thing is just really a mess because like I don't see how people are forced to take a nail for Israel why, 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 why do you have to force people to do what they do not want? Sincerely speaking, I know those, most of those people that took that nail. 
maybe right in their hearts they are I'm sure they will be crossing some of them out and all that but because they had to do it because they are looking for their bread and all that you know and I learned that one actually did took a new some years back and it on its land for black lives matters and also for police brutality on in black community and it landed him in problem so why is it that now they are asking them to take a name for israel why are israel looking for people's problems and then before we get into it why is it that nfl like almost everybody there are black i mean like i saw mostly black people maybe there is something that are maybe it's mostly being played by black people and all of that but then like you know i saw a lot of black people and the rest of it so what is it what is the obsession with them looking for people to join them in what is going on because i don't see reason why you have to force people you have to remind people to do what is right in a wrong way right because they want them to take a kneel to like you know sympathize or whatever they call it or in solidarity with what is going on in in palestine but they are using israel why is it israel why not palestine why not congo why not every other places why israel why are you people pushing this so much on people why do you have to push it on people to support you you don't have to push people to support you if you are doing good thing if you are in the right track you are definitely going to support you without much problems but now it looks like everything that is going on is politics and they are also looking for a way to get black people into it i mean black community into it because they are working tirelessly to make sure that black people are being dragged into it. And black people have been telling you people that this is not our fight. And sincerely speaking, it is not black people's fight. And whatever black people have been saying or doing all this way is because they know that what is going on, the genocide that is going on is wrong. That's why they have been speaking up. But it is not our fight. You all should stop dragging black people into it. Because I don't understand this obsession, the Jewish obsession with black people. Number one is that I know that they know how powerful black people are. That is number one. They know black people are very powerful. They are natural influencers. And if they decided to take up something, they do it effortlessly and come out great. That is something that I know. But knowing that you are doing something wrong, I mean, you are not doing the right thing. And you are looking for black people to support you. I think black people are the, I think, they are just in the wrong place at the wrong time or, or at the, even in the wrong place at the wrong time too because as it stands black people are not coming they are not coming out they sincerely recognize and know that what you people are doing is genocide and they are against it so looking for a way to drag them into this is just kind of problematic and you are looking for attention and i keep saying this that black people speaks up over what it's going on or something it is not transactional you don't have to make a transaction they are doing it not because other people did it for them they are doing it because it is wrong and it is wrong so can you people let black people breathe for some time and stop dragging them into something that they know nothing about and start forcing them and stop forcing them to do something that they probably do not want to do See you all in my next video. Bye for now.